Usually the point of having a bank account is so that you can save your money. So we're going to look at types of savings. Most banks and financial institutions offer two main types of accounts. Checking account and savings account. A checking account is used for making deposits, withdrawals, or transfers. It pays very little interest. You have easy access to your money. Savings accounts, on the other hand, they pay higher interest than a checking account. Now, I use the word interest here. When you deposit money into a bank account, the bank pays you interest. They pay you a certain amount of money every month for the privilege of being able to use your money for their own investments. So when you have an account and you're depositing money into that account, you want to get high interest because you're earning the money. Now, since in this lesson I'm focusing on types of savings, I'm going to talk in more detail about a savings account. There are two main types of savings accounts. You can get a regular savings account or a tax-free savings account. In both cases, you will deposit your money into the account and you will earn interest. With a regular savings account, any interest that you earn counts as income. So when you pay your income tax each year, you have to pay taxes on any interest that you earn from a regular savings account. With a tax-free savings account, any interest that you earn doesn't count as income, so you don't pay any income tax on the interest earned. So a tax-free savings account is a better option to limit how much income tax you have to pay. However, with a tax-free savings account, you're only limited to uh, $5,500 per year. That's the amount you're allowed to deposit. So it's not an unlimited amount that you can put into a tax-free savings account. Now, $5,500 each year is still a lot of money. So it's, it's a good idea to put as much money as you can into a tax-free savings account. And that way, any interest that you earn won't have to be uh, declared on your income tax forms. Now, savings accounts in general don't earn very high interest, so most banks also offer different investments. And these investments typically pay higher interest than a savings account would. So you can get a guaranteed investment certificate, commonly called a GIC, or a Canada Savings Bond, or CSB. The basic idea here for both of these is that you're essentially loaning them your money for a certain length of time and they pay you interest in return. And it's usually higher interest than a savings account. There is a drawback though. Because you have to loan the money for a certain length of time, you cannot access your money for the entire length of time that you're loaning it out. So when you purchase a GIC from a bank, you're giving the bank money for a certain length of time. It could be three months, it could be six months, it could be a year, it could be five years. It, it just depends on which GIC you get. But for that entire length of time, you cannot get access to that money. So you earn higher interest, but you can't get your money whenever you want. And lastly, if you want to earn even potentially higher interest, you can also invest in the stock market. You buy shares in a company. If the company makes money, the value of the share goes up. If the company loses money, the value of the share goes down. You make money by selling your shares. So you might have heard the expression, buy low, sell high. That means buy the shares when they have a low value so that you're not spending much money and then sell the shares when they have a high value so that you make the most amount of money off of the stock market. Now, 
savings accounts, GICs, and Canada savings bonds, those are all very safe investments. The stock market can potentially be very risky. So you might lose a lot of money if you don't invest wisely. But you also might gain a lot of money if you really know which companies to invest in and when to sell your shares. Now, you can hire a financial advisor and you can get a financial advisor at your bank and they can bundle shares in several companies together into one investment. This is usually a little bit safer and it's called a mutual fund. So in a mutual fund, you're basically buying sh shares in more than one company so that if one company does well and, the, and some of the other companies don't do as well, it, it kind of balances out. So the pros, you could earn a lot more money than with a savings account, GIC, or Canada Savings Bond, and it's recommended for long-term savings. I mentioned this before, a con would be you could lose a lot of money if you don't know what you're doing, if you don't know which companies to invest in, and if you sell your shares at the wrong time, you could lose money. And it's not recommended for short-term saving. So there are a lot of different options for you when you're trying to save your money. It depends on how risky you want to be. It depends on how long-term you want to be saving your money. But basically, lower risk investments would be savings accounts, GICs, and Canada Savings Bonds. Higher risk would be a mutual fund or buying stocks.